Okay, so here's my little video of my uh, five inch chuck on the uh, mini lathe. It's a seven by 14 V4 mini lathe. Um, it's pretty good. It had a four inch chuck on there before, but this is the five with a five inch capacity. Uh, be careful, there are two Vivor, um, there are two Vivor five inch chucks, one's smaller and then this one, but this does open up to the full five inches. Um, that's the one you want. And so it does clear the, uh, the bedway there. Um, so this is gonna be a pretty cool machine. So uh, watch this video. Okay, so this is my V4 lathe. It's a seven by 14. It's a little bit bigger and nicer than the Harbor Freight one. I saw one today for 700. This one was about 400. So I wanna put a five inch chuck on this thing. This is about four. Um, can't quite do everything I wanna do. Um, so I got this and uh, so I'm going to be having to take this apart. This, this stays here. And so it worked. I spun a bigger one and I just, this is a five inch piece of metal that I think I'm going to need to back that up with to make an adapter that's going to bolt to this. So at work, I put some, I found center and put some lines on it for reference. These are going to be the bolts that are on the three inch. And these are probably going to be the bolt circles on on this. Um, I'll probably need to spin a relief here, um, and I maybe a recess on on the inside of this. But obviously, I'm going to bolt this on to this and use this machine to make finish making the part. One more little side note: I've got to get an engraver, but I made some marks, so this could be reassembled the same way if I ever for whatever reason needed to put this back on here. Can't imagine needing to go back, but I put some marks on it. Okay, so as I suspected, there is a little hub here um, to keep, it, it kind of goes into here. It keeps it from wobbling or it keeps it straight. So what I'm gonna have to do, oops. Probably gonna have to bolt this thing on and try to create the relief for the inside of that, as well as this. So that's what you're gonna watch me do. Okay, so I just put this thing in here for reference and you can see the center of that to the center of the bolt, transferring this over center to center. So that's why I put these little reference lines in here. I'm just gonna have to measure that and drill the holes outside these lines. After the center punch on one hole, so this is starting to locate the other two. So that marks the, the point. And so now I have all three points past the reference line. Okay, so now after the uh, use of micrometer to scratch the other lines, I've made the three or the yeah, three four points with the uh, the punch and hammer. So now I'm ready to drill. So, judging by the reference lines, I think the holes are in a good spot.
Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, hopefully these all line up, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna bolt this thing on. But what I need to do is cut a relief, and this has to be pretty precise. So I'm gonna cut a relief in this side and then flip it over, and then I'll be able to bolt this on. And, you know, probably make a relief on the other side too. Anyway, you watch me do it. Okay, so I've installed the studs on this side. Um, I'm going to want the reference line on the outside of this uh, when it comes time to drill the holes for, for the bigger chuck. But we're going to put this in. I drilled the center hole too uh, so I can locate it. Um, so let's see here. Well, that's cool. It goes on. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten the nuts and go ahead and cut the relief in here. Maybe enlarge this hole a little bit uh, to what the other one is. Uh, with the life center and uh, let's do some machining okay if I uh, if I use the life center to um, drill out the middle it'll be less machine work I'm gonna use a 7 8 I think the inside is is probably like a 15 16 so 7 8 should be safe and then I just need to open it up uh, to the, the point all right so that's finally done Okay, so I'm going to clean up the outer side of this and uh, probably the face of this. It is finally. Okay, so it's a very good fit. No slop at all. So now I can flip the studs and bolt this thing on and do the outer rim relief. Okay, so after I flipped it over, I just made a cleanup pass across this whole thing, and it was it was really good. It didn't have a lot of wobble to it. The uh, drill, when I used the tailstock, it wobbled a little bit, so I just cleaned up the center with this uh, this boring head or boring bar, and so now that's all straight. So now I'm going to start to cut cut this little edge here, so this thing will uh, fit in and have a little lip so it doesn't wobble in here. Okay, so I just turned down the little outer edge there. This all takes a little bit of a time, a little bit of time to do, but let's see if this thing fits. So anyway, we're trying to just make a little hub for this so it doesn't wobble against the bolts. All right, and there it is. It's nice and snug, doesn't wobble around. Okay, so I, I'm sure it's metric, but um, I'm getting 3.690 on this thing. There you go, ready to drill. Okay, so here it is. I just finished drilling the holes. These seem to work good. So now I'm gonna bolt it all together. 
give this thing a try. Okay, so I've got it bolted up and she works. This was not that easy and uh, did take a, a little bit longer than I expected. Um, before you uh, do comment that this uh, five inch chuck doesn't have enough power, I'm just, I'm still waiting for the parts, but this is my servo motor that I'm gonna put in. It has uh, at least 25% more horsepower than this, plus it's uh, computer controlled. But that is another story and I'm still waiting for parts. So uh, that'll be the next video on this and then I'm just gonna make stuff with it. Thank you for watching.